the waves you saw earlier were formed by a periodic vibrating force produced by my hands. They are called transverse waves. This force causes the particles to vibrate perpendicularly to the direction of wave motion. Let's study the motion of a single particle in a rope wave. I'll be using this single particle model to represent one particle in the rope wave. This is how the corresponding motion of a single particle in a rope is represented by the model. This single particle model is modelled using the general wave equation. The intervals between the markings represent the distance travelled by the particle per unit time. The displacement of the particle at any position is the distance measured from the equilibrium position. The amplitude of the particle is the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position. T, the period is the time taken for the particle to complete one full cycle. So for a period of 12 seconds, this is how the particle moves. Let's see how this motion is represented in a displacement time graph. At time t equal to 0 second, the particle is at its equilibrium position. As the particle moves through a period of 12 seconds, observe how the displacement time graph is plotted and where the position of the particle is during the motion. What do you think the displacement time graph will look like in the next 12 seconds? Well, the motion of the particle repeats in the next 12 seconds. In physics, this repeated motion in equal intervals of time is known as a periodic motion. From the graph, we can identify where the particle is at its maximum velocity and momentarily at rest. The distance travelled per unit time decreases as it approaches the first turning point and similarly as it approaches the second turning point. Hence, the particle is momentarily at rest at both turning points. It attains its maximum velocity at the equilibrium position. It is similar to doing a shuttle run, where the runner has to stop momentarily at the turning points to change direction. You have learned about the periodic motion of one particle in a transverse wave. Now, how do you think all the particles in the wave will behave when a vibrating force is introduced? Find out in the next video.